Good morning. Today is section 40. Um, it's January 1831, Fayette, New York, to Joseph and Sidney Rigdon, concerning James Coville and the cares of the world. Now, 39 and 40 go together because... 39 was given January 5th, 1831, and section 40 was given January 6th. Oh, I thought it said 6th. Anyways, um, James Coville promised to, he made covenants with the Lord that he would obey any commandment he received, that he would follow Joseph Smith, and then he decided he didn't want to be persecuted he's not going to do that. Um, and it says in verse one that James Coville was right before me for he covenanted with me that he would obey my word and he received the word with gladness, but straightway Satan tempted him and the fear of persecution and the cares of the world caused him to reject the word. And then the Lord says, I'll do with him as I please. You don't need to worry about that because it says here that Joseph Smith and Sidney were were baffled. They're like, what the heck? What? He was so happy yesterday. He was all for it yesterday and now he's, he's gone. And so the Lord explains it to them and he says, I'll do with him what I please. Never you mind. So, um, <sighs> I have two quotes, one from George Q. Cannon and one from Orson F. Whitney. And George says, when the gospel came in its purity and plainness, and they did not receive it, then commenced their condemnation. This was the condemnation of the people in the days of Jesus. When light came into the world, they were condemned because they rejected it. This is condemnation, says Jesus, that light is to come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. There are many instances... doubtless in your own experience of this kind and they have gone backwards from the time they rejected the truth they have lost the favor of man which they rejected the truth to obtain have been disgraced in the sight of their fellow men and have met with the very things they desired to shun because of this rejection of the truth by men the anger of the lord is kindled against them and his judgments come upon them now, the line that I really like most in this one is uh, where he says, they have lost the favor of men which they rejected the truth to obtain. And it's so true. It's so true. Those who seek, you know, the approval of men and seek for fame and fortune, they find out that men will turn on them just like that. I mean, it happens every day in the quote-unquote cancel culture you know um you know one day they're like oh yes this person oh it's so wonderful so great and then they're like um never mind you're canceled too so um i mean it's just something to to think about it's like if, if you're searching for the approval of your co-workers rather than christ you know you're you're a, you're never going to get it, and two, they're going to turn on you just as quickly as they turn on everybody else. Um, so, I liked that. And then Orson says, There are still others who love the truth and who recognize it, but they dare not espouse it. They are afraid of... <sighs> Sorry. They are afraid of the social consequences. This whole broad land, this whole broad world, is sprinkled with such people. When the principles of the gospel are presented to them, they say, in surprise and astonishment, Is that Mormonism? I never dreamed it. Why, that is true. I believe it with all my heart. And the tears spring to their eyes as they acknowledge it, but they don't come out in open and fight for it. Um... I'm not going to get political. So, uh, anyways, it just reminds me of, of certain stances. Um, you know, it's like, 
okay, yeah, I believe that, but I'm not going to voice my opinion because I don't want to offend somebody. Um, I think a lot of... Yep, I'm going to leave it at that. Not going to go... <laughs> don't want to go into it. All right. So, that is section 40. Um, let me see if I had anything else in my notes from the podcast. Yeah, just the... The whole concept of, of the great might have been of James Coville. That's what stood out to me most about the podcast was the great might have been. And, you know, not that, um, not that I'm a might have been, but the, the concept of regret and not my own regret but the regret of others that that I didn't help as much or I could have been so much more. Um, just, you know, these, these scholarly people, these professors at BYU were like, oh, what he could have given. You know, what, what must it have been like to be him and, and, you know, the things he must have known and blah, 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 blah. You know, is, is that my within, I'm not, I am no scholar, we all know this, but just, you know, who's going to lament my great might have been if I don't live up to my, my privilege, you know? All right. That was section 40. Have a great Sunday. We'll talk to you later.